Hello and welcome to Elementary STEM with Ms. Crosman. Today we are going to be talking about making bridges and paper bridges. This paper bridge is made using only two sheets of paper and it is a two-part lesson. The first part is you have to determine what contributes to the strength of the piers on your bridge. So in the first part what we're going to do is fold paper into different shapes. We're going to make some cylinders, some triangular prisms, some rectangular prisms, and then any shape that you can come up with that you think might help as well. Once we have done that, we're going to test each of those shapes with weight and decide which one holds the most weight. For today's lesson, the supplies you're going to need are a couple sheets of copy paper, some tape, scissors, and a ruler. Now because the next part of the bridge challenge asks students to build a bridge that is at least five and a half inches tall, what I have done is taken my eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper and cut them in half so that these will be my piers and this will be five and a half inches tall. So the first shape we're going to try and test is a rectangular prism. I'm going to fold this paper into the shape of a rectangle. So now I have a rectangular prism. The next one is going to be a cylinder. You can make this as wide or as tight as you want. I think it might be a little stronger if I double it up, so I'm going to make mine a little tighter. Again, we're going to tape it to hold it in place. Now I want to do a triangular prism. So first I'm going to tape this side together. and Then I'm just going to kind of play with it to see how I might fold it into an equilateral triangle. And for my last one, I think instead of a rectangular prism, I might try an octagon with eight sides. I have my rectangle, but now I want to make it into an octagon. So I'm going to fold it this way, fold it that way. So now I have an octagon. And now it's time to test them for strength. We've had to take this project inside because it is extremely windy out today. So I have my weights. I'm going to use some books today. And I've got my octagon I'm starting with. And I'm just going to start by placing one book on top. Let's see if it holds. Two books. And I'm going to start to watch because I could hear the paper folding. So I'm watching to see where it crumples and where the weakness is. So the octagon held just one book successfully. Now I'm going to move on to my triangular prism. Do the same test. Place one book gently on top. Oh gosh, it doesn't even feel like it will hold one book. I can hear it, the paper crunching and folding on me. Yeah. Okay, so that one didn't even hold one. Now I'm going to try my rectangular prism. It holds one book and then crumples on two. And finally, going to try my cylinder and test this. One, two, three, four. Ooh. So that one held three. So probably what I would try, look at how much it crushed at the end. So probably what I'm going to do is build a set of four of these to test my platform bridge. Although I think I'm going to do like I tried to do the first time around, double it up so it's twice as thick and then maybe I can hold even more books. Now it's time for our final experiment. This time you get three sheets of paper. Two of them you're going to cut in half so that you can make your four piers. And the last piece you're gonna use as your surface on the top. You can fold it over if you need to. This is gonna be what you can um, tape your piers to to keep them steady and also place your books on top when you're testing it. Now for my test, I decided that I was going to tape all four piers together and then fold my paper into quarters. I'm just thinking it might be a little more balanced that way, but I don't really know. I haven't tried this before. So let's see how it works.
plate's getting a little off balance. I'm going to shift this over. And to pull out the big books. It is going to collapse on this one, so I'm going to take the books off at this point. I can see my papers all folding in, and it's me holding up the books right now. Oh, so my paper bridge made up of two papers, four piers, and a sheet of paper on top held 11 hardcover books before it crunched. It kind of bent right there. I don't know if you can see it because the lighting. It bent right there, and then it just kind of toppled. So it was pretty strong. Generally, when we test these in my classroom, we use a set of encyclopedias because we need to have a lot of books and a lot of weight as we have different groups testing these. So see if you can beat my score. If you're a younger student and you want a little bit easier challenge, I let my fourth graders use six peers and my third graders can have 10. So it's up to you how many you want to try. Have fun with it.